Axeman at Cutter's Creek 2 is a sequel to not Axeman at Cutter's Creek, but Axeman 2 Overkill from 2017, and this seems to be more confusing than necessary. Up until a few weeks ago, I didn't know there was an Axeman at Cutter's Creek 1. Evidently, the first movie was all the way back in 2013. The director wasn't happy with it, apparently was rushed, so he reshot some stuff, re-edited the film, and re-released it in 2020. Now, I didn't see the original, I jumped right into two, and figured if I liked it, I'd go back and watch one. Well, let's just say I won't be going back to watch one. Axeman at Cutter's Creek 2 is technically the fourth film. Anyway, the movie's about the return of the Axeman, a local legend who roams the woods around, you guessed it, Cutter's Creek. While there are multiple stories going on, the main one follows Deputy Whitfield, an inexperienced cop who has a major chip on her shoulder. She investigates the possible return of the Axeman, while a crazy group of religious fanatics all end up colliding with a group of cold-blooded killers. To make matters worse, there are two Axemen, which they kind of explain. I think they want to throw a curveball in there that now, instead of one giant guy with an axe that cuts things, they have two. Uh, the movie just didn't work for me. I like the idea, but I felt it floundered. The shift of focus between the different characters helped to keep the thing moving, but after a while, I just stopped caring about any of the stories. Although I will say, initially, I really didn't like Deputy Whitfield's character, but as the movie moved forward, I liked her more and more. She kind of redeemed herself over the film. Some of the other actors were a little rough. Not terrible, but not the best. I was happy to see Monique Parent in the film. She definitely was the one who had the best acting chops, but she was also the one I think that by far had the most experience. It was nice to see her in a serious role. The story was okay, but a little hard to follow at times. It did explain itself by the end, and I will admit, there's a pretty shocking thing that happens towards the conclusion. So major kudos for being able to throw in something that surprised me in a movie that I wasn't expecting. I really don't have too much else to say about it. I didn't hate it. I just thought overall it was kind of weak. Stupid people did stupid things. Awful people did awful things. And two axe men were wandering around axing people. Overall, the movie wasn't terrible. And considering there's now four of these, there must be an audience that is enjoying them. I personally didn't like it all that much, but if it works for you, I'm glad you enjoy it.